17 of the Gamers Pass podcast where a bunch of us just get together and chat about video games and today is going to be a special day where we talk about the new PlayStation um, event. I, I don't even know what they're calling it. Uh, showcase. Showcase and it's going to be or it was really really freaking good and uh, those of you that know me or have been around me for a while I'm more of an Xbox uh, Nintendo and I'm kind of like eh, PlayStation whatever yes I, I agree they have the better exclusives and boys oh boys did they ever show this off uh, during this uh, event so joining me today we have the ultimate hater 87 Mark how are you doing today doing great hope everyone is as well excellent yeah what have you been playing over the last week so of course I've been playing uh, Warzone. Yep. I just downloaded a uh, classic game on uh, the Switch. Uh, I don't know if anybody ever played the Lion King that was on Super Nintendo Didn't or Sega in uh, the Aladdin game. No, it's, uh, I think it's, I played Aladdin. It's a little bundle pack that Disney put together. Yeah. Uh, so it's classic games. So it's it's been fun playing those, just oh. going back in time. No, that's cool. Excellent. So classic games and uh, Warzone, of course. And I've yeah. I've been wanting to get back into Warzone again, but uh, I I just I just don't know. Like I'm I'm kind of not the best time right now. No, it's it's not yeah. it's not that good right yeah. now, or just the cheaters. Uh, well, I calendared a cheater this past week. Uh, as a matter of fact, it was during my stream. Um, I got killed uh, by the storage town area, and uh, I got shot behind a wall. I was like, hmm, you know, it was kind of interesting. So we decided to spectate that team that killed me, and uh, the guy that killed me had 25 kills, and uh, his teammate had 64 at that 64? point. 64? Which- what? Which would have been a war zone record. The war zone record is sixty right now, and well, confirmed non non cheating is yep. sixty. So he already beat the record, and um, and the hacks that they're using is called God Mode. Yeah. So they're able to like almost teleport across the maps. It's like their movement is almost like somebody is lagging, is glitching. Oh, so they're just geez. moving left and right. And it got so it got so bad that they just dropped money for the last guy, so he can buy back his teammates just to get a couple more kills. And at the very end of the match, everyone was just screaming at this dude. It, it was pretty funny. Yeah. But the hacker had the best line. He was like, "Yeah, you suck so bad that you couldn't even buy your own teammates back." <laughs> and we gave money, oh. So. I, I thought that was great, but so you you are playing with a group of guys though, like uh, every night is it or? Well, yeah, I'm part of uh, what's called a regiment. Um, it's uh, Perfect View Productions, and we got 65 members right. in that group right now. And usually, I play with uh, the leader of that group and myself, and we just sometimes we'll pick up random people just to try something out and yep. everything. And, Cool. No, it's, it, it's pretty fun. Sometimes. That's awesome. Good stuff. I know we've had plenty of good times playing Warzone and didn't, not sure if we encountered many cheaters, but <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> we had good the times. Early though. days, yeah, with me, you, and Tim. That was awesome. Yeah, exactly. Twisted Tim. I miss Tim. Tim is amazing. Joining me also is Lightsy. Lightsy, how are you today? Good. Excellent. Annoyed. annoyed. At McDonald's. <laughs> and how come we're annoyed? <laughs> I've been waiting an hour for my breakfast. So DoorDash is just relaxing. They are not dashing to the door whatsoever. They are just <laughs> wasting their time. So you've been yeah, waiting you, over you an hour. You know, be having a hockey meal. Yeah, she's no. having a sad meal. <laughs> it's breakfast time here, Lee, in uh, in our part of uh, our part of the world. Lightsy, what else? Uh, what have you been playing this week? Um, a little bit of Pokemon Unite. Yep. That's about it. Wow, okay. Nothing else, eh? Just Pokemon Unite? Yeah. Cool. And what level are you now? Uh, 17 or 18, I think. Cool. All right, good stuff. And also joining the loyal man himself, it is Lee. Lee, how are you doing? Uh, doing great. How are you doing? Fantastic, as always. I, I got to ask you, what have you been playing? Well, um, I played... Well, really, the only thing that I've played is uh, Splatoon 2 okay. with you when you were streaming. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and doing, like, the Salmon run, that was that was fun. Yeah, that um, was cool. Yeah, like, it took, uh, took me a bit of 
time to get back in, into it because like I just like yeah, n- neither of us are as good as Shabba right now. Oh no, well she's at like a level hundred and forty six, but <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But uh I don't I don't, really don't play Splatoon two unless you guys want me to do it. And I, I only mm-hmm. have it to the rotation because Shabba plays it and I think several of you are available and Lightsy, we didn't get to play with you this week. Uh, just because I didn't get to stream. Um, yeah, so this week coming, it should be good. Isaac is uh, going to be getting off the bus himself and walking up to the house himself and opening and unlocking the door. So we shouldn't have an issue with that. But I'll be a little nervous just because he's only 11. And uh, I'm one of those protective dads. All right, guys, let's jump into the PlayStation Showcase 2021. Um, and all three of you have seen this. Uh, Lee, you said you watched it. Yeah. Yeah, so... Number one off the get-go for me is bittersweet because this was more of an Xbox Microsoft exclusive. Uh, It now looks like, and I'm hoping it's not exclusive to just PlayStation. I don't have a PS5. My oldest kid does. But this, seeing this, if it is a PS5 exclusive, will uh, cause me to get a PlayStation 5. And it was Knights of the Old Republic Remastered. For the PS5, and I, I, I was reading some comments. Somebody said it is coming for Xbox. I don't know. Most likely it's made by EA, blah, 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 and Xbox has a good relationship with EA. Uh, but Knights of the, Old, of the Old Republic 1 and 2, I loved a Star Wars RPG, and that's exactly what they were. They were like classic RPGs, too, and it was so awesome. I loved them. Mark, did you get to play the uh, the KOTOR series? Yes. Is this yep. something that you're super excited about? Very excited about it. As a Star Wars fan, I'm very excited to see that come back. Um, that was a great way for PlayStation to intro into the showcase. Yep. It didn't show much, but what they did show was Ooh, awesome. Revan looked phenomenal. Yeah. That was really cool. And I have it up here on the screen because I'm going to go through as we chat. Uh, Lightsy, did you, are you uh, familiar with the KOTOR series? No, not with any of the um yeah no <laughs> and you're you're not really a star wars nerd like us us three here right yeah no, <laughs> no. and we no. are uh, if if there was levels of star wars nerd I'm lee of course being a fan of the last jet he's already shaking his head he knows i'm gonna give him a zinger uh lee would probably be the bottom as a fan of the last jedi which is embarrassing that's for another show i'm just saying uh, but Lee, did you uh, see anything about KOTOR? Because you're a young pup. This probably came out when you were not even born, uh, possibly, or you were like one. I think it was like 20 years ago. Uh, it had to have been. You guys, do you guys know where the day that came out? Uh, I could find out. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna find out now. But is this something that you're interested in, Lee? Um. Well, yeah. I mean, like, if I can, if I can get it, then yeah, I'd have it. Is it, did it come out um, it, for the Switch though? Did they did they release it for the Switch or no? Not to my knowledge. No, if, probably not. if they did, then I'd certainly get it then. Oh uh, it, yeah. But uh, but it's like like yeah. I I personally I don't know too much about about the lore around that time. I know Revan's like a really awesome character. Yep. Um. And uh, yeah, I. I it, it is interesting. I'm surprised I haven't actually like looked into it more, like Ooh. with the the older game. Yeah, is is like a remaster and a remake the same thing though? Because it's like because they said remake, right? So it's whether remaster and remake are the same. So in in my understanding, they're totally different. So a remastered right. is basically you're taking the game and just up updating things. Where a remake mm. is like, all right, we're just starting from the ground and ground and build up so we'll see because we uh, what i noticed with this one is that they actually said remake instead of remaster right yeah and and i noticed that as well and and mm. some people were talking about that as almost a controversy like oh wait a minute don't mess with it blah 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 but yeah. if you look at the mass effect trilogy they just remastered or remade or whatever i think it was a remaster right. for that that was beautiful it was incredible so i have ex- insanely high hopes for this i know people were saying oh. that kotor 2 was buggy uh but i love them both and uh, i i thoroughly enjoyed them and i of course i played through both of them like i have them on pc i have them on my xbox and i actually bought the first one on my ipad 
just so I could play it on the iPad. And it's it's not so good on the iPad, but either way, it's KOTOR. It was really awesome. Wrong playing <clears throat> Star Wars. What's not to love? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Star Wars is great. And I've been playing Star Wars um, uh, Galactic Battle... Or no, sorry, Battlefront 2 again, because I love that. So, All right, uh, guys, did you see anything about Project Eve? That is That was next. Um, Lee, did you see anything with that? Uh yeah, I mean like like I'm not sure whether I'm I'm just like shooting the wrong wrong ballpark, but it seemed like like the, the cinematic parts were great. Um yes. but it sort of it looked like I don't know, some sort of sci fi mix with dark souls, but I could be wrong. It, that's what that's my that's the vibes that I got from it. It looked crazy. It really does and I and I do it almost people were almost like is this bayonetta coming to her playstation i was like no 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 that's definitely not bayonetta but she looks like the bayonetta character it's just utter chaos with crazy uh, crazy battles monster battles uh mark did you see anything about this yeah, i had to double check it and make sure it was the right one i seen uh the lady going around with the sword and stuff yes. like that yeah um <clears throat> it looked it looks pretty good um I'm not sure if that's going to be more up my alley or sure, not, yeah. but but from what I've seen, you know, the cutscenes look really good and stuff like that. So I, I'm going to be, I'm probably going to sit back and look at it, look at the reviews on it, and uh, maybe catch it on a Twitch stream. Sure. Did you get a PS5 yet? No, 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 no. I can't, I can't get my hands on one. Sure. If I can find one, trust me, I will definitely get it. Absolutely. Lightsy Project Eve. Is this something that? Uh has to catch your eye or is this something that's really not up your alley for um the the trailer certainly you know sparks some interest in me sure <laughs> um i i don't think i'd play it myself but it would it's definitely something that i would watch yep someone else play through no it, it looked it looked chaotic it looked crazy graphically of course it looks amazing uh, i'm not sure it, the whole thing is games are really expensive now and so it needs to be an epic game it almost seems to be like a game that needs to be fully established and with all honesty and i gotta throw this into a, a playstation chat and people are going to get angry but the xbox game pass allows me to play new games and old games that i would never really purchase right now i'm playing near automata incredible game that that i actually thought that that's kind of what it was at first when i okay. saw it yeah it, but. that yeah that looked crazy uh, next one, which was really weird, it's um, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, uh, which kind of came on, uh, I, I believe it's still in the Borderlands world, but it it looks Borderlandish and then it doesn't, it looked really weird. Uh, Lightsy, did this, what are your thoughts on uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderland? Um, I, I think it looked kind of cute. Um, sure. It definitely piqued my interest into um, playing it, maybe. Yeah, it, it looked it looked freaking weird. And at the end, it says lots of guns. And it looks like yeah. there's a giant Skeletor battle at the end, which is funny. Uh, Lee, how about you? Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Yeah, I mean, like I noticed that parts of it did look like Borderlands or whether it's linked to it. I'm yeah. not sure. I, I did like how, um, how meta it was. Like, um, like, like how it sort of spoke to the audience pretty much. I, I, would. I like that too like like um when it was like why so much shooting it was like just because yeah. <laughs> why not <laughs> um it, it does um it does look like quite fun and like chaotic but that's yep. sort of like the point with how crazy it should be um which which does appeal to me uh, sure. i think that's great yeah mark how about you tiny tina's wonderland first have you played borderlands or anything like that I've never played Borderlands. Super fun games. All right, Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Even I have played Borderlands. Oh, you have Lightsy? All right, should I yeah. ask you that then? I figured out of the out of the four of us, or out of the you three, Mark would have played it before you, Lightsy, which is crazy. So, all right, good. So I would, um, if as as long as I can play with my friends on that game, I think I would be into it. Yeah, me, me I think too. That's the game you got to sit down and play with some friends and stuff, have a good time. I think that game would be fun, and uh, I think you'll have a good time playing that one. 
So I want to do a Borderlands 3. I want to buy it. I want to stream it. I want to play it. But I have to play with people like you were saying. It's not a, Borderlands is not a solo experience that I'm really into. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, Borderlands 3, I've yet to play it. And I want to get it. Uh, and uh, we'll probably rock that someday. Uh, all right. So uh, there was, there was uh, Forspoken, uh, which this one here, made by Square Enix, it actually looked... Phenomenal. Forspoken looked crazy. Graphically, it looked good. At first, I thought it was a Marvel game. I was like, oh, okay, is this kind of like... Because the, the way the girl looks and, and the cinematics for that, it almost came off as like um, that Marvel game that's already out, and that's what I thought it was. And that looked incredible. Uh, Lightsey, what are your thoughts on Forspoken? It, it kind of turned me on. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I love that. Okay. <laughs> like... <laughs> I, I don't know like it maybe it was maybe it was what I was on last night but did you want to let everybody know oh yeah I I watched the showcase last night while on psychedelic mushrooms <laughs> which so is it added a bit to the experience and so she had like a game orgasm while watching Forspoken so that's cool keep going what are your thoughts yeah I it just it looked really interesting and um I like I think I would actually play that. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Lee, how about you? Um like it I, I think it looks awesome. Yeah. Um it's not uh like like I, I really like the look of it. It's an excellent edition, but it's mm-hmm. like it's not exactly what I get. Um oh, okay. Like I, I think I think the story looks like how how it's presented, how it looks, I think is is amazing. But I don't think it's something that I'd play myself. It's more cool. like something that I'd watch. No, that's fine. Uh, Mark, how about you? What do you think? Uh, which one are we talking about? I'm sorry. This one is Forspoken. This is uh, the girl that it almost came off as a Marvel cinematic, but like she's she's kind of transformed into this world and she has magic abilities it looks like and some fighting it comes out next year spring 2022 uh it it looked amazing it looks super fun where are you next i'm trying to remember that one i i, I don't recall that one so i'm sorry on that no 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 don't don't worry about it that's totally cool uh even even if you guys want to bring up the um the the broadcast as we're going through feel free to do that and just check it on as we go but we're gonna so i i need to we're, we're gonna talk about rainbow six extraction and um for for me i, I do need to relay some i look at and, and this may be for people but rainbow six extraction looks like it is going like in, in a direction that rainbow six would never go um, and if you ever, if, if you ever want to read up or watch a podcast about this somewhat, uh, Ryan McCaffrey from IGN Games and, and their Xbox Unlocked uh, podcast talked a lot about this. He's a huge Rainbow Six fan, and they actually go through kind of a history of the Rainbow Six games, which were amazing, like the Vegas. The Vegas Rainbow Six games were awesome, one and two. This here is kind of like there's a pollutant of creatures, and you, you got to stop them i don't know this this here would never turn me on it would just it, it's just ugh. i don't i don't know what to say guys uh mark have you seen anything on the rainbow six extraction i was disappointed <clears throat> i was disappointed that's the only thing i could say when i was when i watched the trailer i was like you know i was optimistic about it i was like okay this looks pretty cool then all of a sudden, I seen what they're doing. It almost looks like, um, uh, like it's going to be more of a Resident Evil game or something like that. It, hmm. it just it threw me off. I, I don't I don't really get where they're going hmm. with uh, the direction. Graphics wise, it looks amazing, but That's as cool, far yeah. as but as far as it, uh, I, I'm kind of lost at what they're trying to do with it. Yeah, ex- exactly. I, the success of Rainbow Six Siege which has a massive following and people are still playing that like crazy rainbow six siege was huge and then they're like you know what let's take the success of rainbow six siege and throw it out the window and let's do this i get trying new things that's totally cool but you you, i guess you you just got to be careful lee what are your thoughts on rainbow six extraction i mean we've sort of had like uh like a trailer for it before yeah when um um like and my uh 
and my thoughts and like and that one was like was the the whole game in the trailer like the whole story so there was nothing to see from the actual game yeah um and like and and i'd sort of like i i'm not sort of into the 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 history of like rainbow rainbow six yeah and like like what what you what you guys have um sort of dealt with in the past and whether it suits it now sure but i just think like um like yeah i i think it looks good uh sort of i don't know i'd, I'd say they're reaching on on what they should be doing like yeah that seems <laughs> it seems a bit out of their depth this seems to but, be it should have been a dlc yeah, this looks like a DLC right. thing for me and for I think for the majority instead of a standalone game. Mm, yeah, yeah. That's all it um, sounded like to me. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I think you're right. It should it should have sort of been like a DLC of some sort. Yeah. Lightsy, so you you said it sounded like a DLC to you. What are your thoughts on the Rainbow Six extraction? Um so I'm I'm not a huge fan of Rainbow Six to begin with but yep. like i don't know it graphic wise it looked good but like it still didn't entice me to want to play no i get it so, yeah but, yeah all, all right yeah same, same with me uh and that's that was my thought this should be a dlc and instead of a standalone game but Whatever, that's the choice they made. Let's see what happens. Maybe it's going to be killer and super fun and exciting. I'm not sure. Guys, have you ever heard of Alan Wake? Like, back in 2010? Not, Maybe. not really, not for me. Right. I've not heard that of I can it, recall. But... So, back in the day of 2010, uh, this was made, uh, let's see, Xbox Game Studios. These were the publishers, and, and the developer was Remedy. So, it looks like... PlayStation has stolen Alan Wake. So Alan Wake is more of a like it's it's a thriller, not necessarily horror, but it's the, it's the dude, it's the writer who has the flashlight. And it's creepy and it's it was scary. I remember back in 2010, I played this. I I thought, "All right, Alan Wake, this is super cool." And I played it for a while. It was awesome, but I could not finish it. It was too scary. Uh, just the total darkness and there was things that you really couldn't see because it was just too dark and stuff this looks like it's being remade the very first one and i'm pretty sure that's what it is it's alan yeah alan wake remastered um any of you guys seen any gameplay other than the trailer or anything like that lights that you haven't mark how about you no i haven't uh i i don't recall the first alan wake i've heard of it but i don't recall it yep. if it's a horror game you know that'd probably be something i would be interested in um i'm on the xbox game pass and i've been bouncing back and forth if i want to download that blair witch game i me with, too uh, mark i'm, I'm like uh, you know what <laughs> i think you can play multiplayer we should do it on stream we'll do it if it's multiplayer let, let's yeah, absolutely we'll figure do it, that out I, because I played Alien Isolation and Amazing. that game, if, if if you don't get if you don't get scared in that game, then something's wrong. With you. You're <laughs> Amazing really hardcore. So, I do not want to meet you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So Alan Wake definitely is. Um, I, there's another word. It's more of a thriller, not necessarily horror, but it, like it borderlines thriller, like scary. Uh, you have you have to have your flash. Like there's dudes ready to kill you in the darkness and birds flying around so if you've if you don't remember the trailer check it out it truly is spooky and uh, a little scary and uh, that's alan wake remastered and i'm not sure if this is a ps5 exclusive i do not know so yeah that's that guys big surprise here big surprise gta 5 coming to next gen uh systems and was it march of next year now I do got to say, please don't charge $79.99 for a next-gen. Because uh, the game already looked amazing, and it, it looks fantastic now. But please, oh please, do not charge $79.99. The game is, is so much fun, though. Uh, Mark, how about you? Uh, are you a GTA fan? Huge GTA uh, fan. Uh, with Rock Anything Rockstar puts out, I think it's great. Have you played um, 5? Yeah, oh yeah, I play, I beat five at least four or five times yeah, yeah. easily. Um, so 
I think it's amazing that this game started out on you know PS3 and yeah. Xbox 360. <laughs> Then we moved to Xbox One and PlayStation 4, yep. and here we are, Xbox Series X and PS5. I know. And yet, the game is still there. It's still and alive. It's still, still alive, still strong, easily playable. Yeah. Uh, you can you know, you can spend hours playing Grand Theft Auto and just kind of lose yourself in it, you know, uh, do something entertaining, uh, especially online and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm... So it's interesting. I think everyone's waiting on the Grand Theft Auto remakes and stuff like that. Yep. I think uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto 6, which people are, are really talking about. We haven't seen anything dealing with that um, yet. But but it's, not, it's something I'm definitely not going to invest in because, you know, I've, I've already played the game so much. I already have a copy for it. So... <laughs> I really don't see, you know, a couple little digital things changed around. Improved graphics is not not worth me actually buying when I already yep. own it. So, you know, but even though Trevor is still the probably one of the best game characters I've ever seen in my life. He's so messed up, it's funny. Uh, Lightsy, what about you? GTA 5, next gen, again, gen, gen, gen. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> um, I think it's ridiculous how long they're dragging it out for <laughs> yeah. the, the issue is though is people are like thousands if not millions are still playing gta 5 online it's it's yeah. ridiculous We're still dragging how when did it come out gta 5 like it's don't look it up don't look it up don't look it up oh okay yeah i'm not gonna look it up all right <laughs> that must be lee's question later on so don't look it up anybody anything I'll else be right back all right no worries lee how about you gta 5 um like i've sort of been i've been longing to like l see something new with that yep. and it's like it's been it's been out for longer than than like that yeah it's like it's like you get you you're at christmas you get a good birthday present it's a good birthday present sure and then for like the next few birthday like christmas <laughs> christmas is after you get the same one the yeah. exact same one and yeah it's wrapped a bit differently and everything but it's the same present and it's like yes it's a good present i don't want it every, every year <laughs> like um sure. That's sort of what it feels like. They, they, they're really milking the cow with this one. They're, um, they, they definitely are, but they're every every stroke of that old cow nipple, whatever, is spewing out dollars. And and in a business sense, and same thing with with uh, Skyrim. Todd Howard said the reason we keep putting out Skyrim is you guys keep playing it, uh, and. Mm -hmm. I, I guess it all depends on us. If we just stop playing it, they'll be like, all right, time to move on. You know GTA 6 will come out, but there's no push. GTA what, within 5. within our lifetimes? Or... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it'll be our lifetimes, but it it is funny. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll get it. It all depends how much it's going to be. Now, with Xbox, there's a good chance we'll get it for free, not with Game Pass, but where Xbox... Um, has that um I, f I forget the name of it but if you have a game and there's enhanced graphics or you always have the better version of that game if you have xbox game pass ultimate which is amazing so you get a remaster come out boom all right we get the better version so we'll see take notes playstation <laughs> take notes playstation I i'm telling you though after this showcase guys i i I do want to save up for a PS5 just to play some of these games. And we're going to talk about more uh, when we get there. But the ne the next one that I want to talk about was Guardians of the Galaxy. When I first seen Guardians of the Galaxy 1, that w that's my num now number two favorite Marvel movie of all time. Guardians of the Galaxy. I loved it. It was just so unique and fresh and exciting. Uh, the game didn't come off as exciting to me when they showcased it. Uh, but now we got more and I'm still at the same spot. I was like, eh whatever guardians of the galaxy game mark is this something that's interesting you inter interesting to you well uh to echo what you said guardians of the galaxy one is uh, i'm 
I'm gonna have to. It's definitely in my top five favorite Marvel movies uh, of all time, and yep. and that's that's a very hard list to come up with sometimes. Um, but I, I I'm interested, but at a, you know at a distance, you know I. <sighs> It's probably going to be one of those games where I'm going to wait on the reviews on to see what people say oh, on for it sure, before, yeah. I, before I would buy that one. Um, because some of those superhero games are, throughout the years, they're extremely inconsistent, you know, whether or not they're good. Spider-Man, which we'll talk about later, but the previous ones and everything, majority of them are Amazing. are are great. Yeah. Great. Spider-Man 2 on PlayStation 2, if anybody remember that, I spent so many hours playing that one. Uh, that was great, but here I am talking about a future game that we're going to talk about. But um, but um, superhero games in general just sometimes they're they're definitely hit and miss. Yep. I mean, let's not let's not forget Superman sixty four, which is like <laughs> one of the worst games ever. And I actually got a copy of that somewhere around here. Do but, you really? Um, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. So it was like it was like five bucks at GameStop, and I said. I bought it because I have a Nintendo 64. I yep. said, let me remind myself how bad it was. And sure enough, when you got to fly right. through those little rings and stuff like that. And I've never, I've never, ever really made it past those rings. Maybe one or two times. Yep. And it was. I've only played it a couple times. And I was like, all right, this yeah. isn't for me. Yeah. So this is one of those wait and see games for me. Sure. Uh, Lee, how about uh, Guardians of the Galaxy for you? Well, Lightsy gets finally after an, uh, over an hour finally gets her food. Uh, it, she may have to go warm it up as well. But Lee, Guardians of the Galaxy for you. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, is that, I, is that I, a donut? I mean, um, uh, I think I think yeah. This this trailer has certainly given us more than the first one. Um, it definitely looks more appealing. Um, I'm like. I'm sort of not the biggest fan of like the bootleg Guardians ripoff sort of thing. Like, it's like it's like um, when you're in school and someone and you've done the homework and someone says, "Oh, can I just, you know, um, like copy your homework?" Yeah, you you can look at the homework, but don't like copy it flat, blank for blank. Yep. And then they do something very similar. This is what it feels like with how they look and everything. Like, um, like they, you know, obviously it's the Guardians, but they went for something specific that was different in each character. Yeah. Um, so that sort of thing, like, isn't sort of sitting well with me, but in terms of everything else, in terms of the story, by the looks of things, like, it looks great because yeah. um, I like how they're, they're going for something different as opposed to, like the common things right now, like from the yeah. films where it's like um, Thanos, Nebula, the Black Order, you know, the Collector, Ego, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, I like how they're just going for something different for the story as opposed to just the same stuff. Sure. That you get in the films. Oh, look at that. Look at that puppy Duke. There's a boy. Lightsy, if you wanted to eat, you feel free to do so. Don't bother me any. Oh, uh, maybe. Because <laughs> we're gonna, reading. we'll probably be a little, little while longer. But uh, what did, yeah. did Guardians stand up to you? Is this something that you uh, are interested um, in? <laughs> it it kind of like what Lee was saying. Like the the different faces for the characters kind of like threw me off a bit. But like, yeah. At the same time, if it if it's like a third person kind of thing, and you're just kind of seeing from behind, then. I don't think it would bother me as much playing it. Yeah. But I, I mean, I do, I do kind of have those same feelings as Lee did about. People are complaining about Star Lord as Chris Pratt did a brilliant, brilliant job doing being mm -hmm. Star Lord, and I know he he couldn't do the video game possibly, he possibly could, but you you need to. He set the foundation of Star Lord, and I guess you you kind of have to have the same sort of character with with actually good funny wit and i haven't really seen anything uh, from this guardians trailer that really got me excited um all right so there was a game called uh, ghostwire tokyo which which looked all right um or which we i skipped over vampire blood hunt looked all right um one of the games i think was almost the steal of the show for me 
was Deathloop. Deathloop looks amazing. Uh, it looks crazy. It looks fun. Uh, it's all out chaos. It looks like they took from several games and just, just brought it together for just absolute chaos and craziness. And uh, Lee, Deathloop, did you get to see Deathloop? And uh, what were your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, like, like Deathloop looks good. Um, I thought, I thought the concept was great. Like, it does look funny. Yeah. Um, it, it, sort of like at this point in the showcase, I was sort of thinking, really, another sort of like shooting game, you know, as opposed to going for something like different. Yeah. Like, as opposed to blowing stuff up, but. Um, but the, you know, it's it's a good it's a good concept. I can see this one going like a decent a decent length, and it comes out in like two days. So is it really? Yeah, yeah. It said September fourteenth. Oh my gosh! Yeah. yeah, and it's exclusive for PS Five. This game right. this game to me came off as a day one purchase for me. I, I was like, all right, this looks fun. It looks crazy, uh, but yeah. I don't have a PS Five. I could get it and stream it from Isaiah's. Uh, my boys, but uh, Mark, how about you, Deathloop? Well, I will say it it looks good. It, it, it's interesting from the trailer. I had to remind myself which one it was. Yep. And, of course, uh, I seen where he locked in and just, like, zoomed in on that guy and just snatched his neck. That, <laughs> that looked pretty awesome. I, I think that's going to be a good one. Uh, so yeah. I said it's PlayStation exclusive because I don't have one right now. I do have my uh, PS4, but my I gave it to my friend. I can always borrow that, but uh, sure. it sucks that it's the PlayStation exclusive, but it does look good. Good for the PlayStation owners, though. Uh, Lightsy, how about you? Deathloop? Um, it looked interesting. It kind of reminded me of... I don't know where I heard this game from, but like there was um, something someone told me about a game that was like every time you die you gather more and more information yep about... oh, the, yeah that's 12, 12, um, 12 minutes that just came out for Xbox oh okay it, it kind of kind of reminded me a little bit about that at first but like I don't know I think maybe I was getting them mixed up in my head and state <laughs> okay no no that's fine. Well, like sci-fi groundhog day yeah. yeah and i love groundhog day but it almost had like dishonored powers if you if you ever played dishonored uh, i haven't played part two part one i loved part one uh dishonored uh has crazy powers and abilities like what i was seeing on death loop so that looks to me it, it just looked fun it looked crazy i loved it when the the dude saw the poster of himself he was the janitor he goes dang i look good and then bah, 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 i'm going crazy i it, to me, it just looks great, and so I'll have to see what's up with that. Um, they went on to Kid A Amnesia or something like that, but it's not Amnesia, like Kid A, and you really didn't see anything. It looks like it's going to be a horror game, super scary. We'll see what's up with that. But um, the next one, and Lightsy and I actually chatted about this just before, and I don't know how to pronounce it. I, I'm going to say it's Chia or Tachia or Tachaya, something like that. This this came across as one extremely beautiful, but it looked like a game that I could just sit and just be transformed into their world and just enjoy it and love it. And it looks it looks gorgeous. Lightsy, I want to start with you. What are your thoughts on um, Tachia? Um, well, it, it had me from like the get go when it came in on him playing the ukulele and then you could play the ukulele and when he got the when you get it wrong and he kind of made the face it, like i thought it was like so cute and adorable from that and like i don't know the whole world like it was kind of giving me a 3d stardew valley kind of vibe yeah. almost like it, it just kind of seemed really calming so like I, I'm really I'm really 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 interested in it. I don't know if there's any farming or, or anything like that, but the game. I don't think so. The game is crazy good. Uh, Mark, did you see? Did you did this stand out to you when you saw it? Hundred uh, percent. To to me, that's actually 
out of all the games I've seen in the showcase, that's actually the one I remember best, believe it or okay, not. Okay, excellent. Um, the artwork, the design of it, it was absolutely insane. Bravo to those game designers on that one. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, the thing I like best about it for sure, um, and one of the main reasons I bought a Switch, because Switch has that certain... They don't have the PlayStation or Xbox graphics where can, they can make people look like, you know, humans like me and you and stuff yep. like that. It's more cartoonish style. Yeah. And yeah. that's what I loved about that game. It looks absolutely gorgeous. The underwater mm -hmm. scene with the turtle and oh, everything wow. like that. Um, yeah. it, the gameplay looked look, look good. It looked like, like uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be like, you know, puzzles you got to solve. You know, you really got to think and use your mind and stuff like that, which I hope so. Um, I'm 100% interested in this game. Uh, I think I think that's easily top three of uh, games I've seen in that showcase that I'm sure. definitely interested in. And uh, I would say that actually might be number one because that it looks so good. It does look good. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm I, looking. I liked, oh, go ahead, Lizzie. Oh, sorry, I I just it, it reminded me of like the very end there when like he was kind of making friends with the crab, like yep. that was really cute. Like so you could probably go around and like make friends with the wildlife and stuff. That so be... from the trailer, I I saw the scene where you become a seagull or something, and you can take off and you transform yeah, out of the yeah. seagull. So I wonder if you become the you friend these creatures and then you can warp yourself into them? I, I, I'm not um, sure. I think it has something to do with um, Spirits of the Island. Okay. It it's coming out for uh, Steam. Soul Jump. It's coming out for Steam, which is going to be PC. Could be Xbox as well. We'll see. Lee, what about you, sir? What was your... Uh, did, did this excite you? Is this something that... Uh... It, uh, it, it, was, it, it was certainly different, you know, it was the most different thing out of, like, all of the showcase, um, which I thought, like, was refreshing and, yep. and sort of grabbed my attention a bit. Uh, it does seem like a game that you can just relax to and just, you know, follow the, the little adventure that they're going on. Sure. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I, th I think it looks great. The, the concept's interesting. Um, yeah, it, like just just relaxing fun as opposed to blowing things up. <laughs> no, all right. Hey, that's that's a really good point, man. Uh, yeah, that this game just really, I was just like, wow, this is beautiful. It's going to be wonderful and a really joyful experience. Uh, we they then moved on to a remaster. Um, I got to play Uncharted. Four, is it? I think that's the one I streamed that we had the Indian Invasion from um, Carrie Minetti, uh, which was a crazy time. Lee, I think you were there for that um, when I was yeah. playing Uncharted and people s assumed I was I was copying Carrie Minetti, an Indian streamer or a streamer from India. And uh, I was like, what? I've never even heard of this guy. And so we had tons of hate, but we had tons of love, got a bunch of new followers, a crazy time. So Uncharted, A Thief's End Remastered actually looks phenomenal. This is something I, I, would, I would love to play. I, don't, I haven't played any of the Uncharted's except for the last one and then some DLC and stuff. But it's coming out for PS5 and PC. Uncharted is coming out for PC, which is kind of weird. I don't know if, that's, uh, if this is a new thing. I'm not sure. Have you guys played any of the Uncharted series? No. No? Definitely, if if it ever, if you have a gaming PC, definitely play it. But if you ever get a play, PS4, Mark, if you want to borrow it and play play that stuff, like it, it is legit fun, exciting. And it takes what Tomb Raider's done and expand it uh, ten times, tenfold. It's so good. All right, guys. A, a super surprise, which blew everybody away. Uh, there's a bar scene where this dude is just having a drink massive forearms on him and uh, this guy comes walking behind with a knife and all of a sudden you see the claws come out of his fist wolverine a game that i don't think anybody's seen coming wolverine's also had his uh, games back in the day i think it was for super nintendo there was a wolverine game uh this i we, we'll have to see we will have to see but i'm pretty sure it is the same guys that made spider-man is is it insomniac games they are doing uh, Wolverine, and Wolverine 
forever was my favorite superhero character. I loved Wolverine. It was he was just freaking amazing. Uh, Lee, not according you... to those superhero polls you did during Super... the streams. Those are all with that's Batman all winning. Fake news. That's fake news. <laughs> all Batman nonsense. But Lee, did you? What are your thoughts on a Wolverine game? Did you see that trailer? I think I think it looks cool. I mean, from um, from from the little that you get to see of it, it looks great, and it looks like there'll be some, I guess, brutality in it. Like, there better like, be brutality, because because that's that's part of like what makes Wolverine him. Like he's more, yep. I I guess like brutal in that sense. Um, and I just want to see a bit of that. So like, uh, like not not over the top with like gore and everything, but but like some um, <laughs> just just some aspect of realism where it's just oh. you know, slash them and they fall over or something. Lee, but, I, um, I want to awesome. I want to see arms fall off. I want to see legs fall off. I want to see heads roll. Or, honestly, <laughs> I want a brutal brutal Wolverine because that's Wolverine. Uh, mm. And I don't know if Disney would be like, whoa, wait a minute, what are you doing? But, like, I want to see those claws <laughs> and just chop everything up, make some sushi. I don't know. It would just be – it's going to be super exciting for me. Uh, Lightsy, I'm going to give you time to eat. That's fine. Uh, Mark, what are your thoughts uh, on a right. Wolverine game? So i say a little definitely goes a long way on that trailer for sure. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't reveal too much, which I'm happy about because yep. I wanted – I want to build up really good uh, for the little bit I did see. I'm with you, Paul. I hope it's blood flies everywhere, all over the walls <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, one, one, of, one of the best things, and, I, and I'm going to rant on Disney a little bit, uh, is the fact that Disney, to, to my knowledge still, I don't think they own the rights to X-Men and Spider-Man. No, not yet. So... And that's one of the best things too. Disney's because trying to get Spider-Man now. Yeah, we we seen what happened when so. they uh, when they got a hold of Star Wars. All of a sudden, the lightsabers can't cut through bodies anymore. You know, I mean, it's like you're used to seeing people's arms get slashed off, you know, heads or whatever. But now you just gotta you gotta kind of stab them with a stick or something like that. That's what <laughs> it looks. Like. So it's it's unfortunate that. Uh, that it's, it's come to that. So with that being said, I, I know Disney would not want to do a Wolverine game with a bunch of blood and, and slashing and stuff like that. And I think this one's going to have plenty of it. Yep. I think it's going to be uh, nice and gory. So I'm excited to see it. I cannot wait. That's definitely going to be a game worth having. Lightsy. <laughs> um, I think like... It looks really interesting. Cinematic um, scene. That's all we got. Yeah. 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 Um, from from the first like shot of just seeing him at the bar, I was like, okay, that's Logan, isn't it? I'm like, it's Logan. That's really? Logan. All right. That's yeah. Cool. I, I was. I, I didn't even think. It was like the bot like the the bodies on the floor, like when you see it like that yep. or something, like how just the the mess of like aftermath behind him like that's cool i was like yeah that's that's logan <laughs> that's funny no that's and it's i don't know we'll see lee we will see what happens with it now i got a question for you guys all we saw was his forearm his from shot from behind do you think the hugh jackman effect like we were talking about with star lord and stuff is has to apply to wolverine here uh, when I say Hugh Jackman, as in this guy owns Wolverine, for sure, yep. hands down. So for sure, I, I I almost think that this is almost a scary situation for this for this game. They have to get Wolverine's face and voice right. They have to get it right. Uh, Lee, you you are a huge Marvel fan as as well. Uh, what what are your thoughts on the Hugh Jackman effect for this Wolverine game? Well, it's like. The Wolverine has been like Hugh Jackman's Wolverine has been around a lot longer than Chris Pratt's Star Lord. Yep. So I guess like handling him correctly is gonna is gonna be more of like um, walking on egg eggshells, really. Yeah, I agree. Um, like 
you're not going to make everyone happy. Um, that's that's just you know, there's always going to be a vocal minority who aren't happy. Yeah. Um, and uh, but with this, like, I think they're gonna, I think they're gonna try, but I don't think they're gonna quite go for Hugh Jackman unless they can get like a voice actor who can nail Hugh Jackman's voice. Nice. Okay. Um, and I and when you look at like other other games with like Wolverine in it that just doesn't happen yeah. they have like um they have like a voice actor that I quite like but it's more of like the, the classic comic um voice actor for for Wolverine like like um the voice actor called Steve Blum um okay. he's a uh like he's a great voice actor but um that's more of the the classic but it's more um uh, at least, uh, um it's more it's more of the comic accurate one as opposed to the brutal sort of hardened um, sure. wolverine that we know um right. so it's it's a bit of a toss up on what they'd go for but i think they might go for a, a slightly different route cool well we'll see what happens this is uh it's, it was pretty exciting announcement. I think took everybody by surprise. Yeah. Uh, guys, one game that I I didn't really care about, but I can't deny how wonderful it looks, and that is Grand, uh, what is it, Gran Turismo 7. That game looked beautiful. Um, I, and I, at first I, I had my Xbox fanboy, like, they're trying to copy Forza. But with all honesty, Gran Tur- Turismo has been around forever. And uh, Lightsey, what are your thoughts on Gran Turismo 7? Um, I had the same thought, like, I thought it was Forza coming to PlayStation. Um, I had to remind myself that that is never going to (sighs) happen. But, um, yeah, it it definitely looked good. Um, it was, like, the top game that stood out to me the most by far. Um, I think I've I feel like if I had a PS5, I would I would definitely get it. Like, okay, wow. hands down. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. Uh, Mark, how about you? Gran Turismo Seven. Well, the last Gran Turismo I had was uh, Turismo Three on PlayStation Two. Okay, that was a great game back in the day. Um, so right now, of course, I play Forza and stuff like that. And Forza and Gran Turismo were they're both similar in their playing and stuff like that you know it's it's a it's a uh, racing game for sure yep but i will say to both of them they both have the graph i don't know what they do with their graphics but they must spend a lot of time on those graphics on those games because they always look good those cars can't look more realistic yeah pristine um yeah Mm. the 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 size of the road everything I mean, the graphics don't look, they can't look better in those games, in my opinion. They, they're they spot on, and they have been spot on for many, many years now. Yep. And they just continue to get better and better. Mm-hmm. Lee, Gran Turismo fan, or have you seen much of it? Um, I mean, I'm not so much of a fan, like, mainly because it's like, it's a racing game. Yep. And I'm not, like, I haven't got the skill to do any racing like that. Sure. Um, but it does look amazing. Um, yeah, it does. You know. Uh, but yeah, like like again, if 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 they could do something like having the 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 flight simulator and and you could see the races happening underneath, like like I said with the <laughs> Bethesda one, like that's right. I think I think that would be great, but. Um, yeah, that's that's not gonna happen. That but, kind uh, that kind of makes more sense than having it fly over Forza, because it says in the title that it's a driving simulator, whereas Forza doesn't. But yeah, hmm. yeah, yeah. No, that's cool. But, yeah. That would be that would be cool though. Insane crossover coming up. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we will see. All right, guys. The last two games we're gonna talk about. This one was was not a surprise, but I think sheer excitement that is coming out, but not till 2023, is Spider-Man 2, 
which of course the very first one that they brought out for PS4, the last Spider-Man, was so much fun. Uh, it, it, it legit is amazing. It's exciting. Lee, is this something that would make you get a PS5 for a Spider-Man 2 game, or like, are you excited for this? Um. Yeah, I mean, like I've I've seen the stuff from the from the first Spider-Man, like PS4 game. Um, but, uh, I haven't seen any of the Miles Morales stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm really into that. I don't know anything about the story with that. Uh, but seeing, like, seeing Venom in this, um, it does, it does pique my interest. And, yep. and if, like, Venom's, like, the only villain, then I think that will increase it more. Because when, when you see, like, Venom and other things, He's like either the anti-hero, um, or like a villain amongst many other villains. Sure. And really like seeing Venom as more of a standalone, you see you'll see more of like the raw character. Yeah. And that's and that's what you sort of want with, with him. Um the like the dynamic that the three that Miles Morales, Spider Man and um Venom, Venom have. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited for that. It should be exciting. I, like I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Mark, how about you? Is this something that you're excited about? Very excited for. Very excited for. That's uh, Spider-Man is one of those games that uh, that makes you want to buy the PlayStation for sure. Yep. Uh, it was the reason why I bought a PS4. I'll be honest. Um, there's there's nothing like going around New York City web slinging. I will say that. Yeah, it's uh, so much fun. You could spend almost all day just going around jumping off the tops of the highest building, and, yep. and trust me, I spent plenty of time doing that. It's, they do a really good job on making those games are absolutely gorgeous, and um, I would say what an entrance for for Venom. Yeah, uh, it's been a it's been a long time since we've seen Venom in a uh, Spider-Man game. Yep, and just just his face just popping out of that of uh, that dark alley and everything. It, it gave me it almost gave me goosebumps. It got <laughs> me excited cool. about that it, because I love Venom. Venom's one of my favorite Marvel characters. Yep. Um, of all time, he something about him is just that black suit and everything. You know, with the tongue and the little snarl to him and everything. I, I love Venom, so I'm I'm really excited about this one. Yeah, it's gonna be good, Lighty. Uh, yeah. Um, this was uh really really exciting to watch and although i don't play the spider-man games myself like yeah. definitely going to be checking out some streams of people playing that one sure for sure and it it was <laughs> funny enough it was another one that kind of really tripped me out on the mushrooms last night <laughs> <That's laughs> with, with venom coming out that's funny so it comes out 2023, and I gotta say this this allows me time to possibly save up for a PS5, and and they should be readily available by 2023, hopefully. But yeah, it's I want to play this. Um, but I guess to end it, that in the next game, and I will confess, I've never played any of these games in the series before. The last one I do want to play now, after seeing this trailer, it's God or God of War Ragnarok. The last God of War game, it won like game of the year. And people loved it. They celebrated it. It was apparently amazing. His kid is with him. I think it's kind of a cool dynamic. Uh, but after watching this stinking trailer for God of War Ragnarok, I'm like, oh my gosh. This this is like the, the gameplay looks amazing. It looks fun. And I don't know if I'm just on like a Viking kick right now with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I just beat Hellblade. Um, was it Senua's, um, whatever it is. I just beat that. That was crazy good. And now this, I'm watching, I, I watch a trailer. I'm watching it now. I have it up and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need, I need to play this game. Uh, Lightsy, have you played a God of War or been around any sort of God of War streams? Uh, um, not that I can recall. I don't think so. Is this something though that, that looked good to you? Oh yeah. It looked really interesting. And like, the the fact that it kind of looked more based around the kid right. rather than you know playing the seasoned viking mm -hmm. like i think that will be a, a more interesting 
um, like point of view to play through. Yeah, and he said something in the trailer about him going to Ragnarok and that could tr- or Valhalla or whatever that could trigger Ragnarok or I, fr- I forget the actual the terminology. Trigger, trigger the war or something. Yeah, and I was like, hmm, interesting. Like the kid, the kids all for starting the war if it's gonna help, and then the yep. father is like trying to prevent the war. So, so it'll be it'll be interesting to see how that plays out and like which how it goes i guess i, <laughs> like I just, may it's... have to get it for ps4 the last one and just and just stream it play it try it out and uh see what's up uh lee god of war ragnarok what are your thoughts on um that? i know very little about the first one i yep, know same here. i i really should check out the story for it um I, I, I do sort of like Norse mythology in that sense. Sure. Um, but I don't know. I think because it is meant to be like quite a cinematic experience with it being trying to be like a one shot, like whole game. That's what the, the, the game's supposed to be. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, like I, th- I think it looks great. I don't know why, like, you know, the, the God of War and Boy. Haven't haven't really appealed to me because sure. that's what he calls him. He calls him boy all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I will have to check it out. Sure. Um, I do find it funny that like if you're going for anything like Norse in games, you, either you have two names to pick from. It's either Ragnarok or Valhalla. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing else. But um, yeah, yeah. It's funny you brought like that up. It. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you can play you you can play the her brother or whatever named Sigurd. And I just played Hellblade and one of the characters' name is Sigurd in, in Hellblade, which was kinda weird. Mark, how about you? Uh, God of War, have you played any of the God of War series? Uh, is this something that's exciting for you? I played one and two. Um I didn't play the re uh what God of War, I think, was the last one they did. I didn't play any of that one. Uh, this one looks really good. Yep. Looks really good. Um, God of War has been very consistent as as being a top-tier game every single time. Right. So I have no doubt that this one's going to be good, and this one's definitely going to be worth it for sure. Heck, yeah. I, I just want to see when this one's coming out, God of War Ragnarok. It's saying next year. Uh, platforms PS4 and PS5, so we will, we will see what's up. Uh, so, uh, Lighty, what were your overall thoughts of the PlayStation event? And we're going to wrap things up here. Um, you know, overall, I was, I guess, I was pretty impressed. All right, cool. I mean, was what yeah. is, was that you or what you took talking? <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe a bit of both. Like, I, I, I was interested in some of the games, like. That's cool. No, that's Genuinely. good. <laughs> Lee, how about you? What are your overall thoughts of this PlayStation event? Uh, I think, like, like I can honestly say that it, for the most part, it all looks, like, really good. Um, uh, I can see how some of it would sort of meld into each other because a lot of them are, I wouldn't say similar, but they they both sort of, they, they, they all sort of, um, go for a particular route where it's like, oh, you're fighting monsters, you, you have guns or you have magic, you know, like, and those those tend to be like the, the that, that's sort of my initial takeaway from it, but it does look like all of it does look good. Yep. Like a lot of effort has been put into all of it. Um, I wish there was a bit less remasters, I guess. Um, particularly with like GTA again. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, like uh, in terms of like like going back, there were a couple that we missed. I feel um, there was that Blood Hunt. Yep. Which which for me seemed like like a rival to that Red Fall that that was in the Bethesda. Yep. So no, that's right. Yeah, it seemed it seemed like a bit similar to that, and then there was the the Ghostwire Tokyo. Yep. Uh, which it does feel like an original concept. I might be wrong, 
but um, it does feel like the whole game was in the trailer, like like with some other things. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed all of it. Cool. All right, Mark, how about you? What was your overall thoughts on the uh, the PlayStation Showcase? It was pretty good. I'm, uh, I mean, they put out some uh, some good quality games out there, a couple of them for sure. Uh, that one game, I, I can't pronounce the name either. Oh, um, yeah, Chaya. We'll call it Chaya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that one definitely looks awesome. Um, I'm hoping that's not going to be PlayStation exclusive. Uh, Spider-Man, of course, is going to be PlayStation exclusive. I'm yep. very excited about that. The new God of War looks looks awesome, and uh, Wolverine is probably going to be PlayStation exclusive Most because um, Sony owns the rights to X Men. So, so yeah. that's unfortunate. But yeah, Sony <laughs> doesn't have the right to X Men. Huh? Sony doesn't. Is it Sony... Fox or? Yeah, Fox yeah. owns X Men. Oh, okay. Oh, Fox so, owns so, X Men. Yeah, Sony but, owns Spider Man. But Sony owns Insomniac Games, I believe, and Insomniac Games is what's making Wolverine. So it it will right. be a PlayStation ah, right, okay. exclusive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so that part that part's unfortunate. Um, yep. But I mean, hey, it's it is what it is. I think it's uh, regardless. I think it's going to be great. So it's it's definitely an exciting time to be a gamer. Heck yeah, heck yeah! No, this I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. I want a PS5 now. Uh, it still won't be my most played system, but like as I said from the very get go, uh, PlayStation honestly has the better exclusives. Even though the better deal overall is Xbox, and I still got to throw an Xbox uh, uh, plug in there because you guys know I love Xbox achievement unlocked <laughs> anyways we're gonna jump right into lee's trivia lee give us your trivia sir right um uh got a couple of questions for you um i also want to say i'm at 11 points lightsy's at 11 gaz is at three and mark hopefully we get to get you on the board today right well um how does three questions sound three sounds good let's go all right um well, uh, when was GTA V originally released? Was it 2011, 2013, 2015, or 2017? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'll, I'll go with the... I, I feel like it's... No, it can't be 10 years, eh? I, I'm going 2013... Uh, that's that's my final answer. I want to say 10 years. I want to go with 2011, but we've not seen any celebration about a 10-year thing. So I'm going 2013. That's that's my that's my thing. I'm I'm going to say 2011 cuz my first thought was 2010, so Okay. 2011. So I get a bonus point. I'm going to say is uh for this is going to be October October I have to look at my phone uh, uh, to look at the calendar. I'm going to say it's all October 20-something, 2011. Uh, it's 2013, September 24th, 2013. Yeah. 2013. Okay, that, all right, like, yeah. Then but, that was but, my but whole... that date seems to, seems to jump out at me. Um, that was my whole thing was I didn't see a 10 year celebration like Skyrim just got is getting their 10 year celebration thing happening. So I figured GTA five would do that since they're milking that to death. <laughs> All right, Lee, what else we got? Right. We got um, how many Spider-Man games have been released? <laughs> uh, I love I love that look that you just gave me Paul. Um, <laughs> Okay, are we going back to Nintendo and Super Nintendo? Because there are Spider-Man games for those. Yeah. yeah okay, let's roll. Like let's that. go. Um, right. So, 23, 26, 29, 32. Wow. I'll go 29. 26. That was one of them, right? 26? Yeah. 26. I'm going to have to go 32. All right, let's go. It's 32. Oh, Mark is on the board, Jim. Wow, 32 Spider-Man games. Okay. Yeah. 
That's awesome. Is is that including games that like aren't Spider Man titled like Avengers no, no, games just, that he's in? No, it's just Spider Man titled because because then you'll be going into like all the Lego games and yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's be- wild. All right, third and final question. Let's do this. Um, right. So you mentioned before that uh, God of War got Game of the Year. Yes. Um, what year was that? Uh, <laughs> uh, I think I know the answer. 2016, 2017, 2018, or 2019? I'll let you guys go first. I'm pretty sure I know the answer, only because of the podcast Beyond I listened to the other day, or two days ago from IGN. 18? Mark? I want to, I think it's 2016. I thought you were going to ask me what the Last Jedi uh, review score was. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, yeah, that, 2016. That, would, that would be zero BC, all <laughs> like the lowest numbers. It's 2018, Lee. Yeah, yeah, it is 2018. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I love the Star Wars dig. This is great. Oh, you, Lee, you're in so much trouble with the two of us. Just together. you wait. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But all right, guys, this was awesome. I just want to say myself at 13, Lightsy at 12, Gaz at 3, Mark at 1. This is good. You're on the board, sir. This is great. Lee, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Thank you all for joining me for the podcast today. Um, <clears throat> Mark, where can we find you or where can everybody find you on your socials? So you're going to find me on Twitch still. I'm working on my YouTube page as we speak. Okay. Uh, this week, uh, I'm going to try to order a, um, uh, hang on, let's see. try to switch it up a little bit and, um, try to get, uh, my Nintendo 64 on game on stream. You know, I got some jam. Yeah. Mario party right here. We got some, uh, super, there you go. More Mario, More super party, Mario yeah. and one of my favorites, Star Fox 64. Star Fox 64 so. is a wonderful game. Yeah, so we might do a little bit of that cool. this week. Uh, that's a goal. I'm actually probably going to be uh, streaming on my Switch here shortly. All right, so what are your channels that they can find you? Just all Ultimate Hater 87? Ultimate Hater 87. All right, cool. Lightsy, <laughs> break it down um, first. And I have all of yours. I just want to say I have all of yours written down, so keep keep giving it to me. Okay. Instagram, we have at Logan Ainsley and at Lightsy.plays. Twitch and YouTube is Just Lightsy. Um, Facebook, you can find me on there at Just Lightsy. Twitter is Logan Ainsley. <laughs> all right, I got all that. That's and Lee, right. you social media guru, where can we find you? Well, this has been a great podcast. I better be going. <laughs> um, no, uh, yeah, the, you, you can't find. I, I, I never know what to say for these parts. Hashtag Lee gets Twitter. No. All right. No. Darn Find him on the streets. Find him on the streets. That's right. Yes. Get in trouble. Yes. All the way in the UK. Go go find him. Tell him to get Twitter. All right, guys. Mm. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me for this awesome podcast. Uh, we're I had a great time. Thank you so much. A lot of wonderful stuff to talk about. And with all honesty, this is episode 17. Off the table. This is episode 17. And then episodes 1 through 16 was mainly Nintendo and Xbox. So, oh, oh, Mark would... Oh, yeah, Mark. Okay. Can't wait for this. So here we're, here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are all going to, except for Lee, we're all going to buy some Pokemon cards and we're going to do a, a live unboxing stream for everybody. But Mark wants to open up one pack now, unless you want to wait. It's entirely up to you. Let's get a panel vote. It's I'm up, up for, for a pack. Okay, so yeah. pack it is. Let's, let's open up a pack right now. Let's go. Pack. Okay, we got the Pokemon Chilling Rain Elite Box. Elite trainer box okay so we're gonna do a live opening on this one right nice. now let's see what we get so i think the most valuable cards in here i want to say is a snorlax or a blaziken so if we can get one of those that would definitely be great i'm excited though to do a, a box opening all of us do it live on stream. That'd be really cool. Oh, what do we got? We got a nice little player's, player's guide, guide right okay. here. Let's see here. 
you find a box, Paul. Yep. Uh, I'll split it with you. all about the cards and what? stuff that are in here. Nice. That's cool. EB Games has one. It's but it's eighty. It's like eighty ninety nine for uh, for one one box. I'll check and see if they still have it. But holy crap, that's expensive. Game rule book. <clears throat> okay. Got some nice little little markers, little coin things. I'm not nice. sure what those are. <laughs> ah, little dice. All right, cool. That's awesome. Oh, come on, Dungeons and Dragons to buy. I know, eh? Hey? <laughs> Comes with a set of sleeves for your cards. Nice. Oh, that's a great this idea. Good. All right, let's get that one pack. Energy. <clears throat> boom, boom. All right, here we go. All right, which pack? Zapdos. That's the one I was going to say, one? Zapdos, yeah. All Almost right. in the middle. Ah, here we go. I'm excited. Let's see what we get. I gotta try to make you as trying to spot. get it cut open without uh, destroying the cards. Let's see. Old school way. Use your teeth. Sure. <laughs> You are now I like your shirt, by the way. <laughs> huh? I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I, there should be a, I think the card trick is four. You got it. Four. One, two, three, four. So hopefully we get something cool here. Let's see what we get. Energy. We energy. Uh, what is this? Dyna. Dyna Trio. Okay. Yep. Is that Karen's community? Put your hand behind it so it focuses on the card. Is that behind it? Almost. Oh, oh, oh. Try. That's okay. Just, uh, trying to get the focus right. Oh, there yeah, Karen's convention. convention. All right. Steeny. Steeny. Bounce sweet. Steeny's pre evolution. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Lee are like, who? <laughs> oh, and no Diglett. Dig, 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 dig. Diglett, Diglett. Yeah, we all know Diglett. Uh, Larvita, Larvesta. Larvesta. Okay. Inkay. Ooh, nice hollow Ooh. chest plate. And that's the... A bomb of snow. snow. All right. Snow. Cool. I'll pretend to know like those are, what those are. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's the first pack. Excellent. All right, how many packs come in the box? Got eight eight packs in a box. Eight packs in a box. Yeah. Wow, that's well, a lot of money training, for eight packs. Training box. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Well, thank you so much. That that was awesome. Uh, guys, all right. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate uh, us, uh, you guys hanging out with me and doing this. We are going to uh, sign off now, everybody. Uh, give all of these beautiful people a like and a follow on their socials, Lee. And uh, uh, leave a comment below. What did you like? What were your favorite parts about the uh, the pod or the um, the showcase? It was it was really awesome. So here we go. So as for Mark, as for Lightsy, as for Lee, my name is Paul. You guys. Take care.